Hello everyone and welcome to GED 103 or Life and Works of Riza. Before we start our online discussion, I would like to request two simple things. First is to focus. Second is to jot down important things while listening and watching. Happy learning! This discussion will focus on the theory of nationalism. So before we proceed, what is nationalism? Nationalism is a set of systems, political, social, and economic, characterized by the promotion of the interests of one nation anchored on the aim to, prov to achieve and maintain self-governance or total sovereignty. Nationalism holds that a particular nation should govern itself and should be free, free from external interference. Nationalism is oriented towards developing and maintaining a national identity based on shared characteristics such as culture, language, race, and religion. It seeks to preserve and reshape a nation's culture. So the concept of nationalism is essentially modern. The concept of nationalism only gained recognition in the late 18th century. So later, we're going to know why. Nationalism was considered as a distinct modern sense because it was tied to the political awakening of the lower classes. Nationalist movements have been invariably populist in outlook and sought to induct lower classes into political life. We have five basic elements of nationalism. First is culture. So a shared beliefs and a way of life create a common bond among people. Also, we have religion, wherein a common religion helps unite people in a certain area. We also have territory, which, in which a shared land gives people a sense of unity. We also have language, wherein a common one is a key element of nationalism. And lastly, history, wherein a shared past connects people as a group. So the basic elements of nationalism are religion, territory, language, history, and culture. So we are going to know nationalism or understand nationalism if we first take into consideration the word nation. So nation is a large body of people united by common descent, history, culture, or language inhabiting a particular country or territory. Benedict Anderson gave his own understanding of the word nation. So according to him, nation is an imagined community and imagined as both inherently limited and sovereign. So according to him, it is imagined because of the actuality of even the smallest nation exceed what is possible for a simple person to know. For example, one cannot know every person in a nation, just as one cannot know every aspect of its economy, geography, history, and so on and so forth. Anderson also presents the concept of homogeneous empty time borrowed from the ideas of Walter Benjamin, so which replaced the idea of simultaneity along time which referred to as medieval conception of time as situating, situating events in the past, present, and future simultaneously. So homogeneous empty time suggests that a, a nation can be imagined as a unit moving through time. Homogeneous empty time is the kind of time measured by clocks and calendars. So in, hom in homogeneous empty time, every moment of time is equivalent and empty. Why is it called homogeneous? Because one day or minute or hour is treated equivalent to any other. Let us now proceed to results works and nationalism. So Anderson points out that no limitangere conjured, conjured and imagined community as readers and, uh, and the author were familiar to and intimate with each other, with the characters and readers being situated in the same context of time and space. No Limitangere, according to Anderson, also provided the means of representing the nation as an imagined community that operated on empty time, enabling the reader to be omniscient, to see a delimited society, and the actuation of key person in it. Since Susere Sal written No Limitangere and El Fulibusterismo, according to their experiences with the friars, uh, the, the, the author the, and the readers are actually connected and familiar to the story. 
No Limitanger and El Filibusterismo emerged as the founding texts of the Philippine nationalism. These novels expose the ills of Spanish colonial government and the evils prevailing in the Philippine society by presenting a narrative that contextualizes the country in terms of politics, economy, and culture. Through his novels, Rizal emphasized the value the values of nationalism and loving one's country. So the scathing national narrative Rizal presented became the inspiration for strengthening the anti-colonial movement. So that's it for lesson two. Click on the next video to proceed to lesson three.